Previously on Fallout New Vegas. After some additional testing and a run-in with Dr. Boris's old pet, an enormous cyber dog named Gabe, Courier 6 had finally found the upgrade for the Sonic Emitter. The upgrade allowed for the force fields scattered around Big Mountain to be easily dispersed. With a new tool in hand, the courier left the X-8 center and continued looking around the Big Mountain compound, eventually finding a rather peculiar cave with some rather peculiar audio logs. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas! Old World Blues, we're out here by this big old warehouse in Ulysses' Point. We uh, went in there, we did a whole bunch of stuff, uh, we also went back to the sink and we did some vendoring, we did a whole bunch of inventory management, and you know what? I brought us right back out here, that way, you, hey, we can get right to it, checking out Higgs Village, doing this quest, finding a brain's best friend. We're going to find any trace of Gabe, but I feel like we killed Gabe. Gabe the dog? Unless there's another Gabe here, but I feel like that's unlikely, right? So I feel like this is just going to, I don't know, we're going to be led back to uh, the location where we slayed this uh, gigantic Super Cujo dog, and I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. I don't know. It would be pretty cool if there was some, like, unique dialogue for us having done this in a weird order, or an order that it seemingly did not anticipate us doing it in. We're going to shoot this guy over here real quick. Jeez. Just get some quick uh, XP, huh? Jeez. Holy shit. Man, forget that they actually do quite a bit of damage out here. Good lord, it's not like the Mojave anymore. These, uh, these folks, they mean fucking business, don't they? These lobotomites, except for the ones that are kind of going around without pants on and stuff, and... Well, you just one-shot them? <laughs> well, you know what? They can't all be winners, huh? They can't all be winners. Let's, uh, quick save here. See, I actually tried to, uh, use a healing thing right there. Do we have any healing stuff on us? Yeah, we got a little bit of purified water. Let's put that- Oh, let's put that there on the three. There we go. Nice. Drink a little bit up. Higgs Village. Oh, look. Yeah, here's a big pile of bodies that we ac actually uh, blew up. Forgot about these guys, actually. Here, we'll take some of this stuff. Uh, 10 millimeter lobotomite mask. No thanks. We'll take the Proton X. Look, it's very valuable for its weight. It's almost as valuable as... Or maybe it does have the exact same value as a Super Sledge. But for uh, less than half the weight, I think. Good lord. All right. A Shish Kebab as well. There we go. Yoink. All right. Awesome. Ugh, can we actually fit underneath these? Oh, wow, look at that. That's called some design. Look at that. We can actually fit under it without having to crouch. Holy shit. Let's see. So what is this? Is this their village? Do all the lobotomites come here to conquer? Oh, shit, look at that. Huh. There's actually more of these big old pipes that have bombs on them. Weird. I'm How do you access this one? And is there a point to accessing it? Look, yeah, I guess they all just source from the, um... The think tank there, huh? And they sort of lead out. I bet that one has some... No, look! You could probably actually access it from right there, huh? There's even a vending machine over there. Did we go over to that building? I don't think so. Yeah, see, there's still a pip over there that has not been discovered. Alright, hold up a sec. Let's make sure we don't have the radio active. It's, uh, disturbingly quiet. Yeah, okay. We are good to go. Alright, let's head inside, and, uh, maybe we'll talk to a whole bunch of weird lobotomites without brains. Oh, shit, look at that. A super ego! Oh my gosh, the living planet himself! Whoa! Let's, uh, let's just blast this thing. Boom! There you go. Wow. Sure does take a lot of hits. Maybe we should try out our newly upgrade- Did we upgrade it? Good lord, I'm having a hard time keeping track of what exactly we're fucking doing with this weapon. Good lord, there we are. Whew, man. The fun thing about fighting these things is that, uh, their sort of sewn ejaculation attack on us is actually- Pretty damn slow, so we don't really have to worry about jack crap. There we go. Nice. Gotcha. Nailed him. There we go. And let's see. A sterilizer glove. Huh. Critical heat damage. Weird. Okay. Oh, so d does our, um... No, because these aren't standard force fields. These are just, like, pylons, right? These are a different sort of force field. Just probably meant to keep us within the bounds of the level. Whoa, holy shit, look at this. Oh shit, is this a secret up here? Is this a secret? Oh man. I don't think so. <laughs> or maybe it is. Maybe this is like some sort of platforming puzzle. Here we go. Oh gosh, I fucked up. I didn't oh my god! Ah, that really hurt. 
All right, let's, uh, shit. Did we quick save up there? Good lord. I'd rather not spend the stim packs. Let's just, uh, oh, thank goodness. Here, let's stow this away. Try to do a super jump. Wow! There is no jumping here. There is just, we can't jump. Can we even jump? Are we, like, too high up to be able to jump? Let's see. Yeah, we can jump. Let's see, I'm just timing it incorrectly. Here we go. Ugh! Ah! 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 Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't... I can't get up any higher. There's, like, an invisible wall. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're sort of slowly edging our way up. Jesus! Oh! Oh! Hey! Whoa! We did it. Nailed it easy. Oh! Oh, gosh! Oh, God. All right. Let's quick save again. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like we should not be here. Oh, there we go. Nice! Oh, fantastic! We're on top of Higgs Village! We have conquered it! Oh, Lobotomites, you will hail to my supreme power! Wah! I'll just drill a hole in there and start farting down in there. Oh my gosh, he'll be like a little version of the Sierra Madre, except this time, I'm in charge. That's right, you Lobotomite pieces of shit. Jeez. What is down there? Is it another- Oh, look! It's one of the suits! Okay. So, we should be able to- Oh my god! Yeah, I forgot they had these weird-ass guns. There's no fucking way we're gonna be able to shoot them with that. So you know what? Let's bring out Annabelle. Let's have Annabelle do a nice hello, blow him the hell up. Nice! Got him. Easy. Alright. There is literally nothing up here. Huh? Oh gosh, look. We this is definitely where man was not meant to tread. Good lord, we even clipped through this. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Good lord. Oh, at least we can make our way down here without breaking our legs, huh? Let's see. What is this? Is this... Oh, yes! It is a Gauss Rifle! I wonder if it has the same stats as the one from, um... Fallout 3, because that one was really overpowered. Uh, let's see. A Flamer. Just a basic-ass Flamer. It's really not worth taking. So, we'll pass. We'll take the tubing, though. Notice how we can't take their outfit. Also notice, it looks exactly like Boone's, uh, Blastoff outfit. His, uh, superhero attire. Alright? Alright, let's see here. Let's see. Let's check out this gauze rifle, huh? It is an energy weapon, and, uh... It does 85 damage. I mean, that ain't half bad. Look, we can actually modify it. I don't know, maybe we can't. Maybe we cannot. Yeah, see, even even things that you can't modify, they have the option there. Always gets me. Always gets me. What can I say? I'm easy to get got. Oh shit, but check it out. There was no treasure up above, but there is some down below. Ooh, a footlocker full of... One cap! Oh, it was worth it. And a plunger! Wow! What treasures we have discovered on this day! Oh my gosh. X marks the spot, baby! Ahoy and avast, you scurvy dog! I found your fantastic woot loots galore! Oh, and it was trash. It was just a lot of trash, really. Probably someone just came out there and was plunging a gigantic shit out of a toilet and thought, Oh my gosh. What do I do with this plunger? It smells like shit, it's covered in shit, it looks like shit! What do I do? I'll stick it in a duffel bag and throw it away. Just throw it outside. Good lord. I don't know. Whenever something gets covered in shit, I'm not sure if I should keep it. Like, depending on how much shit it is... Oh my gosh. Like... Oh, you oh god! There, my little teddy bear in the bottom right. Darling, this is you. <laughs> oh, Dala, I miss you too. I want you to hear my pitter-pattering penises. Oh, my goodness, my penisia. Let's see, what's inside here? Oh, okay. Anyway, before Dala interrupted us, I don't know about you, but whenever I shit my pants... <laughs> now, that makes it seem like I just shit my pants recently, and that is... You know what? Hey, I'm gonna say that's not the case, but you know what? If you think I have, I have the gall to have shit my pants recently, you know what? Sure, sure. But, you know, hey, it's been at least two years since, you know. <laughs> it's been at least three, okay? It's been three. <laughs> it's been a while since I've shit my pants. But nonetheless, my point is, when you shit your pants, oh my gosh, especially as a child, when you know... <laughs> this, I'm just digging some kind of hole over here. It's making it sound like, yeah, okay, fine. Last, yes, last night, I shit my pants, okay? You got me. I shit my pants last night, and what did I do with the underwear? I threw them away. I wasn't going to throw them in the wash. I wasn't going to clean them. No, they're gone. That's radioactive material now. It's covered in shit. I'm not going to ever use it again. I did it last night, and I shit my pants this morning, and I'm shitting my pants now. We're going inside. 
<laughs> For fuck's sake. This is this has gone off the rails already. Good lord. Just so oh my god! What? There's a whole bunch of shit in here! Oh my god! What the hell? What is this thing? Is this like a brand new asset? Or is this like a reused asset from Fallout 3 or something? I don't remember that at all. I don't know, dude. Holy shit. Well, shit, let's go down here. Man, this is weird as hell. Let's see, is there actually anything over here in the corner? Are there any dudes in here? Are we detected? No. Okay. Well, shit, we're looking for Gabe in here, all right? We'll see what we can see. Anything inside this tool cabinet? Some scrap? Wonder glue? No thanks. Let's see, a footlocker full of scrap electronics. Ooh, this one has a lock on it. That way you know it's got to have some sort of goodie. Probably two caps. Oh, no! Actually, not half bad. All right, we'll take all the ammo. We'll leave the metal shit, right? Actually, you know what? We can take the metal armor and repair up our armor later. So just in case when we get damaged. I actually did some repairs back at the, uh, at old Jarvis. At old, uh, in Central Intelligence, whatever the hell it's called. Sounds like old Jarvis. Did some repairs, repaired up a whole bunch of stuff. Especially armor and all that, and even other things that, that I could have honestly just used a repair kit on. But hey, we've got so much money, I figured, hey, why not? Why not do it? Let's see, should we take all this? Yeah, why not? Look at this, we're in a big why not kind of mood, aren't we? Taking pre-war money, leaving coffee mugs though, some sass, teddy bear. There's a lot of teddy bears! That may- hmm, I'm gonna take them. I feel like this is eventually go- because Dala mentions teddy bears so much. I feel like this is going to be a uh, interesting thing to keep, right? rest of this shit can go eat a butt, frankly. It can go eat a damn butt. Oh, is this like a tiny village? Is this for like tiny people? Oh, no, never mind. I mean, this is like reasonably high, right? For like a small picket fence. And these, oh man, actually, maybe this is some sort of like tiny huge island. You know, that Mario 64 level where like, oh gosh, you go in the little painting and you're huge. Mar it's a big Mario. It's big boy season. But then you go in the gigantic one and you're a tiny man. You're a little, you're a little guy. And holy shit, what do you know, Joe? They live right next to each other. Wow, isn't that fucking wild? Look at this, oh my gosh. Can we actually go inside of these? Wow, okay. Weird. Oh, this is unsettling as hell, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Can we sit down on this? No, we can't. Ooh, spooky, we can't sit down. Oh shit, look. Ho 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 a treasure trove. Oh my gosh, someone threw a super stim pack in here. All right, I mean, that's a little bizarre, but I love the attention to detail that, hey, there's a few bottle caps in here, and also a super stim pack. That, that's actually kind of weird. It's actually kind of just a little bit weird. All right, let's pop on out of here, and let's see, which one did, which one was number 00? Was it this one? Nope. Oh, shit, 101. Huh. Okay, interesting. Oh, uh, look, this was actually three uh, zeros. Huh, but one of them got etched off or something, or ripped off and taken somewhere. Huh. Okay, let's head on inside and see what we can see. Maybe, uh, Gabe will have, like, some sort of hidden toy inside of here. Oh, yeah, now this is definitely, like, a, uh, an asset from Fallout 3. I remember all this from, uh, what do you call it? Lane? Pleasure Lane? Serenity Hills? Serenity Now? Serenity Now! Good lord, look at all this. Look, and there's even a big fella in here, too. Look, he's got some scrap electric- Oh, shit, can we repair him up with our- Oh, okay. Got some scrap metal on him. Oh shit, look at that! Oh no, never mind. I thought we could actually see the inner workings. I mean, I guess we technically could, but... <laughs> yeah, not quite. Oh god! Oh god! It's got a whole bunch of nipples in him! Wow! Man, these things are horny as hell! I had no idea. Wow. I mean, I guess it makes sense. With Robert House, you know, being the old horn dog he is. Jeez. Alright, can we... Oh wow! We are strong as shit, dude! Look at this! Oh my god, I have the strength of a thousand men! Oh, I'm like the fucking Andre the Giant Hulk, master god, pissed off as shit, super mutant. Oh, I'm just throwing around gigantic Securitrons and shit. Oh gosh, yeah, give me the scrap electronics, you little bastard. Oh, and a box of detergent and a lead pipe and some turpentine. No thanks. No thanks. My rage has subsided. It has subsided. Let's quick save here. Do you hear that? Oh, it's one of these things. Okay, wow, there's more of them in here. Huh. Oh, this is disturbing. 
I feel like we've come across some sort of conspiracy, especially with the ominous music. Can we fit this big boy out here? <laughs> it's gonna be quite the squeeze! Wow, he actually fit through pretty easily. It's like he's made out of jelly. Alright. Okay, let's see, anything else we can do in here? By the way, how did that one even get in here? You th look at how- Look at this! Surely it would barely even fit through! You know, it- Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about this. Maybe it got built inside of here like the Vendertron, huh? Maybe. Maybe that's exactly what the hell happened. Let's see, a footlocker full of four caps! And a whole bunch of science that I don't understand. Let's see, what is all this? Toolbox with some turpentine and a wrench. Some weird beeping thing, it never shuts up. Oh my gosh, this person just likes to bathe on electricity. Although their bathtub, very nice. Their toilet does not match the look. Okay, a very clinical sort of toilet, like a prison toilet. Oh no! The all-seeing eye is watching. Oh. Hello? Can I use this? Oh look, there was actually something there, did you see that? Oh look, there it is. Giant tarantula. Uh-oh. Audio sample from a giant tarantula. Okay. Oh. This holotape contains an audio sample entitled Giant Tarantula Attack. It can be used to modify the sonic emitter weapon at the Sinks jukebox. Oh shit, and we have Gabriel's bark as well, remember? Okay. So all these audio samples, yeah. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Totally forgot. Oh. You have found a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox on the sink to recalibrate the sonic emitter for new effects. Okay, well we can't do that yet because we don't yet have the chip for the, um... The jukebox. Gosh, I feel like we're doing things in absolutely the wrong order. But maybe this is as it is intended. Maybe you're meant to go into some of these places in the wrong order. Hence the circular design, right? Alright, a cigarette pack. We'll take it. We checked in here, right? No, we didn't. Boom. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Stop looking at me, you evil eye. My gosh, the eye of Sauron has bequeathed upon us a sound of a tarantula attacking someone. Good lord. What a gift. What a damn gift. Let's see. We checked in that, didn't we? Yeah. We checked in this one, too, didn't we? Yep, 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 yep. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Excuse me, excuse me. More shit in here. Look at all this. Oh, hey! Oh, my gosh! Right in his penis! Oh, no! And look, there's a gigantic robot! Is this House? Is this Robert House? It looks almost like him, doesn't it? And they're mad at him? Why would someone buy a picture of him if they hated him so much? I mean, I could understand, oh, this is at work or something, or in a CD bar, we've hung it up and we're throwing knives. Oh, shit. Alright. Gosh, did he... Is that like Liberty Prime or something? Whatever the hell that robot was, I can't remember. Liberty Prime, right? Yeah. Yeah, who am I saying? Yeah, of course it's Liberty Prime. But I don't know if that's meant to be it. It looks a little smaller, doesn't it? I don't know. I can't remember how huge it was. It's been a while. Alright. But, uh, jeez. A lot of knives. Oh, shit, look. This one actually has less value. One in his heart, one in his head, and one in his wing wing. We'll take the wing wing. Alright. Can we actually move these? Oh, wow. Holy shit. Whoa! Oh, it's come to life! Oh! Robert House! Oh, he knows that I'm up to something. He knows that I, too, am going to strike at him one day. Oh. What if it's not even Robert House? What if it's just some fucking guy who looks suspiciously like him? Hmm. Could be. Alright, Iguana Bits, Junk Food, Squirrel Stew, eh, no thanks. We've already got so much beer anyway, we don't really need to take the wine. Unless I'm feeling a little frisky, huh? Alright, shit, I guess that's everything in this one. Wow, there was a surprising amount of shit in here. What if this was? No. Why would this be Robert House's room? There's a lot of stuff in here related to him, though, isn't there? Very strange, very suspicious. Can we take this guy with us? Let's see. No. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know why I thought that would be a, a potential option, but hey, you know, it's a little lonely out here. In the past DLCs, we've always had a companion. I thought we would get Roxy or some shit, but no. We're just out here alone in the big empty where everything is empty. Look, number 101. Oh my gosh, maybe this one will be all about uh, Washington, D.C. Let's see. Well, oh, wow. It's a lot of booze. Not picking up anybody on the dude dar. Look at that, weird. Never seen those before. Alright. Can flip this on or off. Okay, fair enough. Let's see, anything in this? Nope, nope, nope. Anything behind these? No, we've, we've known to check behind these cow- 
Oh god, I thought I heard something. It scared the shit out of me. Honestly, it scared the, the, the bejesus. Wow! This shit's stocked! Oh, man! Wow, remember when I said I wasn't going to take that wine unless I was feeling frisky? Guess what I'm feeling right now? Boom, 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 boom! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my gosh, and look, what is that there in the corner? Is it another... Oh, yes, another hidden whiskey. Oh my gosh, empty scotch. No thanks. Oh, look, that one's full. Some sass. Got a little bit of sass. Let's see, anything down here? Nope, anything up top. Is there? Nope, nothing. Okay, fair enough. Oh my gosh. What a wild little place. Did we look in here yet? Nope, two caps. Okay, let's fully clear the bottom floor. This way we're able to more... Oh, wow. This person loved to drink and eat, I guess. Wow, what a nice, quaint little home, huh? Vending machine with four sass in it. Don't mind if I do. Let's see. Some gecko steak, some nuke nuke. We'll take the water as well. We can purify that shit up nice. Whole bunch of cups. Vacuum cleaner. Hot plate. Wow, it's a, a quaint little house, huh? Wow. What do you know, Joe? Ugh. Bunch of garbage. Just a bin full of tin cans and a leaf blower. Huh. Never known to just... Oh, shit. Another all-seeing eye. Spooky. Let's see. What's in here? Some goodies. Don't mind if I do. Some mentats here. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, look. Wow. More wine, I guess. Sure. Wow. 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 What a... <laughs> this must be where my girlfriend lives, huh? <laughs> she loves wine. She can't be stopped. All right. Let's see. Anything else over here? Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. I'm getting, like, caught on something. Am I, like, in walk mode? Am I over-encumbered? Was that... Did that last wine? Oh, my gosh. It did. Here, let's drop this knife. We don't need this knife, do we? No serene. Alright, let's also down some beer, I guess. Let's get rid of this beer. It's very uh, low in value, isn't it? Yeah, just two? Jeez. Alright. Oh, shit. We're still actually... Oh, we're in walk mode. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, shit! Dr. Klein scrubs! Wow, okay. Huh. What, uh, what do they do? Let's see. I wonder if he'd want these. Oh, shit, do you think we'll find something from each of the doctors? Huh. Remember we had that headpiece thing? I, I stowed it away. That weird, like, angelic science thing. I don't know. I stowed it away. Look at this. Ten science, two int. Still, not as good as the followers reinforced lab coat. I mean, if we had not maxed out int, then sure. But otherwise, eh, no thanks. Let's see. How is our uh, condition? Oh, yeah, look. Let's just rest up for one hour. There we go. Get ourselves back. Ah, oh, yeah, excellent. Okay. Oh, man, another knife in here. Creepy. All right. Let's see, anything else up in here? No, I don't think so. Let's see, anything in here? Oh, Dr. Klein's glove! Weird, he just had a bookshelf with his glove on it. What does his glove do? Let's see. Dr. Klein's glove. Critical hit, it, wink it, it weakens. Uh, strength and damage threshold, but when you equip it, it makes you lose two strength? Really? Or is that the the damaging effect? Okay, yeah, that's the damaging effect. Okay, so... Wow. Huh. It actually does a lot of uh, strength reduction, doesn't it? Huh, okay. Fair enough, I guess. Here, should we have some fun with this Gauss rifle? Maybe we should. Maybe we freaking should. All right. Let's see, what's in this? Sync Project Book Shoot. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Sync Project. This holotape contains the functionality profile for the Sync Robotic Assistant Book Shoot. Oh shit, so we actually do have... Okay. Cool. We've got our first uh, profile thing, right? Contains splicing data. Did we find any others? I thought that we did, but I don't think so. Splicing data, autodoc upgrade. Oh yeah, look. So we can actually use that on the auto dock. All right. My mistake. All right, yeah, we'll need to remember to actually read through these like a regular ass person. All right, let's see. What do we have in here? Some cigarettes, a metal box full of, wow, a bunch of goodies. All right, sure. Let's see, more in here. Wow, a whole bunch of ammo. Uh, more ammo, scientist glove. I mean, I guess we can use that glove to repair up Kleins, huh? Nice to have it fully repaired. Even if we're never going to use it, right? That way we can have it stowed away very spick and span. 
hesitant to use these sterilizer gloves since we haven't found another one of those. I don't know if that's very rare. It doesn't have a name like it's a very rare thing, but, I mean, truth be told, we haven't found any others. Alright, did we fully examine this entire place? I think so. Is there anything else? Can We can't use the terminal. None of this can be used. Any secret thing hidden behind there? Nope, okay. Fair enough. Let's get on out of here. Oh shit, look, there's a gigantic flag up there too. Huh. Jeez. Weird. Very suspicious. Okay. I wonder if each one of these is going to be reflective of each of the, uh, personalities. Oh god. There's a person out here. Wow, some paparazzi, apparently. Honestly, fuck paparazzi. It seems... that I've, I've always felt like that should be fucking illegal. It seems like such an invasion of privacy. Good god. I can't believe it's 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 allowed to the... I mean, already there there's, like, limitations to it, but it seems ridiculous that it's allowed at all. Frankly, it seems so fucked up. All right, wooden crate. There we go. Take some. Uh, we'll take the empty syringe. I don't know. Maybe there's a good reason why it's allowed, and I just don't know it. I'm just ignorant. I don't know. Oh shit! Look at this. Some Nuka Cola victory. Maybe there's a good justification, but shit, I don't know it. So for now, until uh, proven guilty, I'm just or until proven innocent, <laughs> I'm just gonna say fuck that shit. Wow, a lot of missiles in this. Okay. Sure, wow, they know what I like. Dope. Let's see, oh gosh, we're getting stuck on something. Oh gosh, we're like merging with the wall. <gasps> oh god, it was that fence. That terrible, awful fence. Merging us with it. Let's see, anything back here? 10 millimeter, 9 caps, anything here? More caps, more pre-war money. Just a little corner full of some woot loots. Dope. Alright, anything else around? I wonder how these trees are still surviving in here. How does that work? Is it just that they've been shielded from all the bullshit? How do they... I guess maybe that's enough light on them. Or perhaps they're completely artificial. All of this is artificial. Maybe this is tied to, like, the blue grass, remember? All that blue grass out front of the t think tank. The tink tank. Alright. So far, all of these have been eerily empty. Oh, man. Now, this is probably the most eerie one of all so far. It's all boarded up. And there was a dead person outside. <laughs> Alright, some sass. Sure. Oh, wait, hold up. Bobby pin. Oh, gosh. Got too busy thinking about that dead person outside. Let's see. Pre-war money. All right. Anything else? Let's see. A filing cabinet with... Eh, almost 20 caps. Okay, nothing. Once again, we'll clear the bottom level first. All right, a cabinet full of... Stuff worth taking. All right. Cigarettes again. Jeez. Okay. More caps. Oh, yeah. This one's really in disarray. Like, someone came through and really fucked up the place. Not like a... Oh, look, wow. Look at the placement on that. Perfect placement, huh? Oh, jeez. Look, we're gonna have to down some of uh, all this alcohol that we picked up, huh? Let's uh, start with the wine, because it's actually pretty... Pretty cheapy, isn't it? Let's see. In the oven, pilot light. No thanks. A whole bunch of Nuka Cola. Maybe this person really liked caffeine. You notice all the cola and apparently a coffee machine? I don't know. They definitely at least like cola, huh? Because they had the, uh... The clock down there in the front, huh? Let's see. How about all this? Some more wine? I guess... Oh, whoops! Left some dirty water in there. Taking that so we can purify it later. Honestly, I fucking love purifying all that shit. Oh, shit! Ice cold! Did you see that? That Nuka Cola that we just picked up was ice cold! Oh, my gosh. Is there a way to get ice cold drinks in this game? I remember in Fallout 3, you could do that by, uh, putting it in the fridge at either Megaton or Tenpenny Tower. I don't know if you can actually do it in this one. Huh, never even a- oh gosh, post-war toaster. Oh, <gasps> get away from here, it looked like a fucking bomb. Alright, anything- oh my gosh, looks very sinister with the red lighting. Love the attention to the lighting in here, oh, very spooky, very sinister. Alright, some Mentats on the ground, oh my gosh, and wires running across, they didn't have to put the wires running down there, but that makes it look even more disturbing. Look, some caps, pre-war money, what's in here? Bobby pins, caps, another scientist glove, I guess we can use it to repair up stuff. Let's see, where is Dr. Klein's thing, because it's not fully repaired, there's a sliver remaining. There we go, nice. A uh, drinking glass, yep. Man. The wildest shit, though, about this house? They love caffeine, they love coffee, they, we saw some coffee, some spilt coffee there in the kitchen. We've seen a gigantic uh, thing of nuke-nuke down here, right? 
We've seen so many bottles of Nuka Cola. Their kitchen is chock full of like drinking stuff. They have they even have a Nuka Cola clock. But what do you notice that they don't have for someone who loves to drink a whole lot? Where the fuck do they piss? Oh my god. Where do they piss at? I don't fucking know, man. That's part of the fucking conspiracy. I want to believe. The truth is out there, Scully. The truth is out there. I think maybe they were drinking their own fucking piss and that's why they went fucking nuts. Recipes, science skill book. Whoa! Can we just make a skill book now? This holotape contains a workbench recipe that allows you to make a science skill book. Whoa! Like the big book of science? Oh my good god! Holy shit! Jeez, that's really powerful! If you wonder what the mats are- Oh my god! Holy shit, we hit the mother load, baby! Mentats forever! Boom, 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 boom! Holy shit! Oh, gosh. I got so excited with the Mentats that I almost just went to sleep. <laughs> there we go. Let's uh, throw this over to the side. Jump on up here. Anything behind? Anything back here? More Mentats, perhaps? Nope. Alright, sexy sleepwear. Okay, wow. Feeling a little kinky here. Uh, anything else? Uh, nope. Just an ugly Nuka-Cola lamp. Let's see. Some Nuka-Cola in a filing cabinet. A little bizarre. Uh, some bobby pins. I mean, you know what else was bizarre? The dead person outside. Just the dead person. That's pretty bizarre. Oh, shit. Look, this one got cracked. Almost didn't notice it at first. Also, you'll notice, this one doesn't have an all-seeing eye of Agamotto, does it? There is no, uh, spying eye. Huh. Weird. Or was there and we just missed it? No. Okay, weird. So the other two had one, but this one, the one that's in the greatest state of disrepair, no secret shit like that. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's head on over this way. Well, let's check out here. Alright, some more Nuka-Cola. Anything up here hidden away in the corner? No. Alright. Fair enough. Man, the lighting in here is very nice, actually. Alright, some nice park benches. Gosh! Should bring some people back here and populate this uh, little Higgs village. Wow, if it weren't for the horrific, monstrous monsters outside, this would be pretty nice. Some lad's life. Learn about the life of a lad. Okay, uh, we'll wait before we go back there. But did you see that? Holy shit, yeah, the, there's a doghouse. A gigantic one. And also, the marker. Alright, 103 it is, baby. Let's see. What's inside? Who knows? Alright, this one doesn't seem too freakishly terrifying, but there are a bunch of these. Oh my gosh. They must have really loved Bioshock Infinite. Oh, look at all this. Oh man. Maybe this is a reference to like To Kill a Mockingbird or something? I don't know. I know very little about that. Alright. Bobby pins, no. Maybe this is probably just a massive coincidence. Some pre-war money. Some sass. Let's see. Buff out. Okay. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's some scary shit, dude. Oh my god, you know there's def- Oh man, this is weird. This is creepy as shit. Oh my god, did you hear that weird robot? It sounded like a little wind-up toy. And there's hockey masks in here. Oh my gosh, Norman Bates' mom is gonna be there in the basement all mummified and shit. Pilot light, nothing. Dirty water, uh, we'll take the whiskey too. Why the heck not? Boom, there we go. All right, what's upstairs? Hello? Please don't be some sort of grisly murder scene. Oh, I sure should hope not. Hello? Oh man, this place also, no bathroom. What the fuck? They just all go to that one place, to the one house down the street to go and take shits and stuff. No wonder everything went here went to shit. Everybody had to share just one tiny restroom. All these families. Oh my god, what a hellhole. Truly living a hell. Living in hell. <laughs> a living hell, living in hell. Recipes, medicine skill book. Wow, okay, well I'm assuming this is, uh... Yep, it is what it is. It is what it looks like. Some more sass, okay. What do we have here? Filing cabinet with some goodies worth taking. A footlocker, with some caps, and a bobby pin, alright. Oh, another knife! What's this one poked into? Oh, gosh, I can't see for shit. Let's drink another wine. Let's see, aid. Boom, 
wine. Oh shit, does that say dad? Oh no! Oh no, dad has been slain! Oh man, I wonder if that's just completely random that's meant to be dad. Oh gosh, and look, there's some- these drawings are actually a little fucking scary. Look, there's someone on a horse, I think, with a gigantic robocock? Okay. And this looks like a gigantic airplane or something? I don't know, and this... is a person with a gigantic head. Scary. Alright, and what are these? Oh, these look like little cars or bugs or something. Okay. Sure. And what's this? Oh my gosh. Wow, they really became a great artist. <laughs> oh, and another teddy bear. Yeah, I'm thinking this teddy bear thing is actually a good fucking idea. We have seen way too many teddy bears in this DLC so far. And, you know, the mention of teddy bears, I feel like that's going to end up being some sort of optional quest. Right? Oh shit, we're getting merged with the wall again! Help! 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 I'm being sucked into the walls! Oh, I'm being sucked into the ceiling! Oh no! Oh god, save me! Oh, Jesus! No! No, it's sucking me up! It's like that one terrible movie where the house comes alive and tries to eat that lady! Oh no, at the end, the fireplace becomes like a giant man's head! Except this time, oh my gosh, I'm the beautiful lady! And the house is trying to suck me into it! Ah! Oh, oh, can we- oh, gosh! We've finally been rested free. Holy hell. Truly the most terrifying house so far. Oh my gosh, so many references to horrific things and horrific events. Man, this is a 100 lock. Alright, so whatever's down here has got to be fucking wild as hell. What the fuck do you think it's going to be? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <gasps> it's a teddy bear. What the fuck? Oh, man. What? There's a whole bunch of blood down here, too, and a bone saw? A cinder block as well. Okay. I mean, this isn't as terrifying as I thought it would be, but it is pretty unset- Whoa! Ah! Whoa! It's a possessed! Oh! Jesus! Alright, how about these? Uh, nothing really worth my while there. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have been taking this scrap electronic shit. I feel like maybe that was a red herring. But, uh, the teddy bears is now feeling like it was definitely the thing to do. Some of that. Let's see. Good lord, we're getting so weighed down by all this bullshit that we're just taking because we think it might be worthwhile. Look, we can't even take any buff out to get strong as shit. We're going to have to... Oh, jeez, what are we going to have to do? Maybe we'll just drink a cup of wine. Oh my gosh, we're getting drunk as hell. There we go. Anything else around here? I like that you can get addicted to this, but it's too it's a shame that you can't get drunk. It's a damn shame that you can't get drunk and just, like, immediately start vomiting in, uh, Fallout, you know? I'd be pretty down for that. In most games where you can drink alcohol, I, uh, I'll usually try and get drunk and just vomit. <laughs> I mean, you know? Hey, who doesn't love that? Who doesn't love to just vomit? Alright, let's see. Can we- Oh my god, look, this teddy bear has some shit in it! Oh my god, syringes and stuff in its eyes! A metal butter knife! A scalpel! Another metal butter knife! Here, let's free this teddy bear. <gasps> You've been freed, gentle child. Ooh, and a ripper as well. Terrifying. Uh, some cigarettes. Man, we can't even take anything. We'll have to remember that there's just a bunch of shit everywhere in this DLC. I don't know. Good God. How much is the ripper worth? Eh, 197. Not worth it, really. Let's see, anything inside here? Can we actually go in? No. Fair enough. Let's see, anything else up here? Some miscellaneous documents? A wooden crate full of... Bullshit. Let's see, anything up here? Nope. Alright, fair enough. I think we were very thorough here. Oh, God! God! Jeez! Jeez! Okay. Oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, oh. Good Lord, 103. Also, very disturbing. Very fucking disturbing. The walls almost fucking ate us. When the walls fell, I was eaten by them. Oh look, Xander root. Oh, and some Brock flour. Oh, we need that for stim packs, don't we? Man, look at me, starting to remember actually crafting things right off the top of my head. <laughs> I never thought the day would come. Jeez. Oh my gosh, another dead person. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's check out uh, Gabe's doggy hole. Oh, Gabe. Wow. 
Okay. Gabe's bowl. Taking it. Yoink. There we go. Oh. Return Gabe's bowl to Dr. Boris. Oh shit, I wonder if Boris knows that I've killed Gabe. Was that his recording? I can't remember. I think that was Boris live, wasn't it? And we were up in there. Jesus, I bet we could have solved that um, peacefully and not killed Gabe. Oh my god. We're a fucking monster. We're a fucking monster. Alright, what are all these things? Just some beautiful ass flowers. Let's see. La Fantôme. Okay, sure. Let's see. Let's check around the back here before we head inside. Should we just take these Xander roots? We'll take one, just for good measure. Let's see. What's this person doing back here? Looks like taking a shitload of Mentats and watching the neighbor dog. Okay. A little weird. Yeah, taking pics. Okay. Let's see. We'll take these plasma grenades and surgical tubing. Oh, man. This is some weird, disturbing shit. It's got to be said. Let's see. Let's actually... Hmm. We need to get rid of something. We're carrying around too much dumb shit. Like this combat knife, which I thought we had ditched a while back. But apparently not. Apparently freaking not. Let's see. This thing, eh, that's okay. Let's see. Anything here that we need to get rid of? The metal armor, honestly, is pretty heavy. We could stand to lose it. You know what? We're losing it. We didn't get damaged. Instead, we found Woot Loots Galore. And I want to take them all. Alright. Let's uh, sort of swerve back around here. We won't jump that little fence yet. Instead, we'll head on into 108. Oh, what horrors await in this one? Who the hell fucking knows? A jukebox and a shitload of paintings. Oh my god. Look at them. They definitely look like a wild maniac put them all over the place, huh? Because they're all slightly off skew and there's way more on this one wall than you really need. Oh shit, this is, um, this is Radio Dude's place, huh? Man, did they all just live here? I guess so. I guess they must have all just lived here. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, is this for, like, each day of the week? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't understand it. it Would have made sense to me if- the Oh, shit. Wait, how many of them are there? There were six of them, right? Yeah, so also doesn't match up. And look, this as well. Huh. Very regimented, at least. Okay. I guess that's the takeaway here. That, um, radio dude was very regimented in the daily goings-on, huh? Okay. Disturbing. Alright, what else is around here? More pre-war books. Probably gonna need them for, uh, making these recipe things, right? I don't know. If we, if we need it, we'll, we'll just come back. I can do that in between videos or whatever the hell. Oh, Jesus Christ, what a fucking disaster zone in here. Oh my gosh. Let's see, some scrap metal, I guess we can take that. Filing cabinet full of some shit. Taking it. And here, sink project jukebox. Oh my gosh, yes, finally, we can use the jukebox. Great. Let's see. Yep. Pro, uh, functionality profile for the sync robotic assistant jukebox great we got jukebox book shoot and something else yeah auto dock or an upgrade for the auto dock at least i don't know if we can actually use the auto dock uh with the upgrade or we have to get some sort of personality thing for the auto dock before we can even install the upgrade i have a feeling it's going to be the latter all right Let's see, anything else in here? Some sass, yep. A whole bunch of radio shit, a couple of jukeboxes. Oh, we can turn this one on. Oh, maybe we could have turned on all of them. Alright, maybe something secret will happen if we turn them all on. Okay, anything else around here? Eh, it doesn't look like it. Oh shit, what is this? Oh, that's a, um... That's one of the... That's a, you know, a toll pay thing. <laughs> Fuck, where are they called? A parking meter. Yeah, right, a parking meter. There we go. Audio sample. Opera singer. Oh my gosh. Can we just shoot fat lady singing at people? Hell yeah, that's what I want. Oh shit. A hard suitcase. Let's see. There's definitely gotta be something juicy in here. Oh shit. Come on, give me the juice. Nice! Oh, 20 pre-war money. Absolute garbage. <laughs> Alright. Shit. Oh, gosh. Maybe we should actually repair up our Gauss Rifle with, um, our weapon repair kits. It's 
that's probably a good idea. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, I can't see. I think we got everything inside of this house. Yeah, I think so. All right, excellent. Let's hurry along back outside. Hopefully, uh, I'd like to end this by installing these personality chips. That way I don't fucking forget like a damn idiot. Because you know me. Holy shit. That's something I'm prone to do. And what's that? Be a damn idiot. Whoa. Holy hell. All right. Is this, uh, 104? Okay, this is the last one, right? That's, um, yep. Triple O. Fair enough. See anything in this? Nope, it's empty. All right, let's quick save, just in case there's some god-awful beast within. Any beasts within? Nope, no dudes on the doodar. All right, whose do you think this is? Got a lot of, uh, lamps. Okay, some cameras again. A little just weird, seeing all these cameras. Okay. A lot of paparazzi implications going on here. More wine! Okay. I guess we'll take it. Let's see, anything in here? Pilot light, gecko steak. A couple cups set up, uh, sort of like, uh, the other house, huh? But not, not, not nearly as wild. Some mentats and wine. Ah, oh, the two food groups. Alright, let's see. Anything in the fridge? Ah, uh, vodka, beer, pinion nuts. I guess we'll take the nuts. Take some nuts. Anything in here? Paint gun. No thanks. Alright. I mean, this one doesn't seem too bad. Just has a whole bunch of standing lamps. Torchlight lamps, I should say. Right? Oh, gosh. Okay, well... <laughs> well, you know, it was good while... Oh, good God. <laughs> this is Dala's place. This is definitely where Dala lives. Man, she loves these little bears, huh? Oh, my gosh, she's gonna be so happy when her secret quest appears. And we have already, like, 50 bazillion of these teddy bears. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh, she did, like, a Project Runway thing, and she was like, Oh, look at me, teddy bears! I'm walking around with my penis feet, are you impressed? And they were like, oh, yeah, we love it, we love it. Alright, what else is in here? Oh, some pre-war business wear, sexy sleepwear, and look, five of them, all sharing one bed. Crazy, holy shit. Alright, and right, she liked mannequins too, wasn't that the thing? Or maybe that was someone else. It must have been Dollar, right? Huh. Man, this whole, uh, warehouse has just been, uh, non-stop environmental storytelling, hasn't it? Good lord. Uh, casual wear, dirty business wear, cowboy hat, cattleman, desperado, both cowboy hats. What's in here? Stuff worth taking. Anything over in this? Footlocker full of... Uh, we'll take it, I guess. Alright. Let's see. Can we repair up our sterilizer glove? Let's see. Is the science glove actually... 55, 25. Okay. So this is definitely better. There we go. Nice. Alright, anything else up in here that we need to woot and loot? Some caps. Wardrobe full of bullshit. Man, reminds me of that one room from Dead Money, huh? All the creepy-ass mannequins. Good lord. The nice thing about the mannequins here in, uh, New Vegas, and I guess in Fallout 3, can't remember if there were any in Fallout 3, is that when you walk into them, they don't go flying all over the fucking place. Good lord. Th I remember there being a surprising amount of mannequins in Fallout 4. And whenever I just walked up to them, they just flew all over the damn place. It was fucking wild. Alright. Shit, I guess that's a full clear. Right? Of this entire place. Well, there there is some stuff outside still that we gotta look at behind Dallas. Alright. So how many are there here? Because there's five scientists, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, six. I can only count up to three, so I have to do it like that. <laughs> All right. Anything back here? Is this just the way up? Is this uh, where we came from? I think so. If there is like a little secret uh, doohickey back here, then it may be the case. No, this might be a different area. This might be a different way up. All right. Let's uh, examine these real quick. Shot glass, hockey mask. No thanks. Baseball, tire iron. Oh, look. Yeah, there's some goodies in there. All right. Don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, let's take the cherry bomb. My bad. There we go. No harm in taking it, huh? All right. Yeah, I think that is a full-ass clear for this uh, Higgs Village, huh? Very good. All right, wooden crate full of some shit. All right. Oh, look. Yeah, this isn't even a way out. This is just a secret. Oh, shit. We can do some building jumping. We can Assassin's Creed this shit. Let's see. Anything up here? Pre-war money. Uh, scrap metal, turpentine, we'll leave it. Our carry weight is ridiculous once again. 
Uh, let's see. Yep, yep, yep. We'll leave it all there for now. All right, let's straight up get on up here. Oh, wait. Did we look in there? Yeah, we did. All right. Huh? There we are. And... Ugh! Oh, nice! Oh, assassino, baby! Oh, shit. Is there anything up in there? I hope not, because I don't know how the fuck you would be able to get up into it. All right. Are we going to try and do some building jumps here? Are we going to try and, like, Ezio Auditore this? All right. Here we... Oh, what? Oh, man! Oh, dude, dope! Nailed it! Oh my gosh, everything has paid off! Wow, awesome! Are there any other little secret ones here before we try and make the big time jump? Alright, I don't think so. Oh, man. I feel great about that duffel bag, honestly. I feel fucking great. I feel like all my stupid uh, building jumping has actually paid off now. Alright, let's see. We'll try and make this last jump. It's gonna be a do- Oh, no! Okay. It was a tough one to make. I'm not even sure if we could clear it. So, is there actually anything worthwhile? Oh, gosh, there might be. Let's quick load. There might be. We'll try one more time. Alright. Look, we, we went too damn fast, didn't we? Huh? Oh, shit! Alright, third time's the charm. <laughs> Rule of threes. If we don't get on the third one, we're giving up. We're giving up if we don't get on the third one. We may have to, um, let's see, can we actually change our direct? Yes, we can, okay. We're going to try and change our direction mid-air. Oh, didn't even need to. Didn't even need to. Nailed it. All right, look at this. Can we see anything fun from up here? Any secret hidden shit? You don't think we can jump into that fucking tree and jump to the other building, do you? Oh my god, we've gone from Ezio to fucking Spider-Man like nobody's business. All right. Let's quick save here. We're gonna try and jump into this tree. Or what, what was the the one that was based in America? The main guy, he was Connor, right? It was like, when they started to become bad. But then, oh shit, alright, fuck it, yep. I don't think it's po- Oh no, look! There is someone up there! Oh shit, alright, we're doing it, we're- j Oh, I know, we can jump up from this one! Oh, genius, oh my gosh. Another brilliant idea. Holy shit, I didn't even need my real brain. I used the coils. Alright, we'll come on up here, do another secret ass jump. Holy shit. Look at this. Umao ma mao mao papa umao ma mao. That's not that's not how the Spider-Man song goes. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, radioactive Spider-Man. Can he swing from a building? Look ahead, la na na, wherever there's a bang up, something, something, Spider-Man. Something like that. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's quick save here because this is going to be a tough one. Ugh! Yes, gotcha. Oh my gosh, look, his cr <laughs> This is his penis! Oh no! <laughs> Jesus. All right, what's inside? Give me your secret treasures. Oh wow, recon armor. Huh. I mean, we don't need that. We've seen recon armor before. We don't really need recon armor. But what the fuck was this dude doing up here with recon armor? And a couple of brewskis? And what's in here? Some sass. Uh, we shouldn't have taken that. We should not have taken that. Look, we'll drink some water or some shit. Oh my gosh. Not nearly as fun as the other one. But hey, it is what it is, huh? Alright. Shit. I think now that is a full ass clear, don't you think? Holy shit. Yeah, it really doesn't look like there's anything in there, or that there's any way to even get on that. Alright. Fantastic! Oh my gosh. I love exploring! Woo! Uh, but honestly, I, I really do. It, it, it's like my favorite part of these games. It's just exploring. Oh my gosh. I mean, you know, the story's pretty fucking good, too. One of the things that uh, New Vegas really fucking nailed, in my opinion. Oh god. Did it crash? Oh my gosh, I think it crashed. I think we're gonna have to be right- Yep, we'll be right back! Holy shit. We'll be right back! Woo! Huh, <sighs> alright, we are back. Holy crap. Good thing I quicksave a lot, but at the same time, I think those frequent quicksave- Quicksaves are actually, uh, part of the problem. I don't know. Because you notice how sometimes when I'll quicksave as soon as I'm zoning out into a different area, that causes a crash. I don't know, just a- just an observation I've made. Of, uh, of all the things that I've played uh, on the channel, so far New Vegas has actually been the, the least stable. Despite uh, all the mods that I've got uh, hope that hope to prevent that. 
Anyway, let's head on up to the think tank. There we go. We'll fast travel on up there, install these things. Good lord. Did not want to forget to do it. Especially since we've got like three of them. We've got some stuff to put in the jukebox. We've got like a... I don't even know. Just all sorts of wild stuff that we can put inside the think tank. We'll wait until next time to actually turn in the the bowl, right? The doggy bowl. Let's see. Let's scroll down here to the wine. There we go. Nice. But yeah, when I boot up New Vegas, I actually, um, in order to get it to not... Be because if I don't do this, it just straight up does not load properly at fucking all. What I have to do is I have to start a new game every time. And I have to, as soon as I'm, like, at the part where it's like, oh, you're waking up in Doc Mitchell's place, I skip the opening cinematic. So it's it's not too bad. It's pretty quick. Um, I'll just smash escape, get on out of there, and, uh, oh, whoops. This is the wrong area. And, uh, when I'm waking up in Doc Mitchell's, uh, the thing will be able to, the, uh, the UI will still be able to pop up. And it'll be like, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can now load a game. And, and that's, and I'll load the game of, uh, whatever we saved. And it's a weird way that we have to do it. Oh my gosh, you see how bad I am at multitasking? I couldn't even decipher which fucking door to open. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, just a little... A little example of... I've always said, oh man, I'm bad at multitasking. There you go! Man, I couldn't even decide... Oh fuck, which door... Which fucking door do I open? They look the same! I can't read and talk at the same time! Oh! <laughs> For fuck's sake. Alright. Jesus Christ. Let's see. This one is this. Might I be of service? Yeah, sir? this dude isn't going to help us at all, but we should sell off some stuff in case our uh, thing wears off midway through here. Let's see. I'd like to buy some things. Let's see. We'll sell off this SMG. We can sell off uh, plasma nades. We already have a proton axe. We can get rid of the shish kebab. Uh, the sterilization glove that we should probably hold on to, huh? Anything else here that we should get rid of? No, I think the rest of it is just miscellaneous weird shit. Alright. Let's see. So first, let's get the jukebox, huh? Let's talk to this jukebox. Here we go. Active. Yeah, dig that sweet music. Damn, it's good to be back online. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your purpose here? Do you play music? I mean, I'd assume so. Do you play music? Mm, used to. Long time ago. Then old Doc Moe ripped out my music drives and stuck in more acoustical processors. Guess you could say I got the blues even if I can't play them no more. Okay. Doc Mo, by the way, jeez. What's your purpose here? Dig, I'm an acoustical wizard, kid. Old Doc Mo used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a wave that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. Right, okay. Can you do anything like that for me? You seem pretty laid back for an engine of destruction. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's say that. Pretty laid back for an engine of destruction. Why not? Ain't like I got nothing to prove. Not like that toaster. Now that boy got some issues. Okay, can you do anything like that for me? Got yourself a sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here and bring me some sound samples and I'll make that baby sing. Or scream. <laughs> if that's what you want. Oh no! Blind Dio Jefferson, I just realized his fucking name right here. Good lord. <laughs> Please don't make my gun scream. Good lord. Uh... Let's see, I found a sound Soundwave file for you. I guess we need to turn all these in first. Right on, daddy-o. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Okay. Uh, sound file, opera singer, available for the sonic emitter. Gabriel's Bark, and Tarantula. Okay, I'd like to recalibrate it. Right on, Daddy. Let's spin some grooves. Okay. Uh, let's see. Revelation. Give me one of your sonic emitters to recalibrate. Let's do it with Revelation. Alright. Uh, oh, look! All of them do something different. Okay. Well, shit, maybe there's actually value in carrying around multiple ones of these, so we don't have to come back and recalibrate whenever we uh, do this, huh? Alright, well, let's see. Let's try the opera singer. I ever tell you a 
about Saxomatron version 4.0? That cat was the best trumpet player I ever met. Wurlitzerp. Okay. Let's see. Let's try out the opera singer. Did it rebind? Yeah, okay. Because it changed the name, huh? Critical kill dismemberment. Wow. Okay. Does it... It doesn't sound like opera. Does it? Okay, maybe... Maybe my ears just can't pick up the sound frequency of opera. Let's see. Let's see if we can What's change that? it to something else. Uh, let's see. I want to recalibrate... Right because I think there's actually gameplay uh, use for it being uh, Gabriel's bark, right? Or am I mistaken? Nonetheless, let's try it. Let's see, Gabriel's bark. Oh, critical strike means knockback. Okay. Did you hear the dog? I almost heard it. Sounds more like a pant than a bark, though. All right. Sure, I guess we'll keep this one. This one seems the most useful. Oh, notice how he uses two ammo at once. Was that how it was all the time? I don't remember that. Eh, alright, well, I guess that's the one that we're using for now. Because I think there's actually some, uh, mechanics to that. Maybe I'll buy another one off of this, uh, dude. That way we can have more more of them. Maybe I can buy a shitload of them off. Off the, uh, Central Intelligence. That way we can have just all of them going at once. And we don't ever need to come back. We can just, uh... Swap between weapons. I think that's a good idea. Alright, what other ones did we have to turn in here? Let's see. Yeah, we have these speech skills. But we need, uh... Oh, book shoot. Okay, we have the book shoot. Oh, and we can try the, uh... Autodoc upgrade, can't we? I don't think it'll work, but... Alright, what's the other sync project? Was it just, um... Oh, did it get turned in? Do we actually not own it anymore because we gave it to that thing? We gave it to the jukebox, I should say? Okay, let's try the uh, auto-dock upgrade. Let's see. Personality files, damage, or missing, insert, backup, holotape to restore files. Alright, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's see. What all else, uh, where is this? Sir would care to put sir's feet up, and I might serenade sir with the dulcet tones of a light opera? No, no thanks. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get this uh, opera gun going, but no dice. Is this the book shoot? Yeah, here we go. I don't know where the fuck you would put a book in it. Like, down there? Like, grind it up? <laughs> you like grinding, uh, like, ground books? Yeah, it looks like a meat grinder. Like, make some hamburger out of books. All right. Ah, good day, citizen. Library Processing Unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Okay, er eradicate sedition. Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split, I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white, and sedition-free. <laughs> Can you do anything besides processing books? So, you make blank books. What's the point of that? But those books are our last legacy of the time before. You can't destroy them. Blank books, huh? Yeah, I think I can find a use for those. Let's see. Can you do anything besides processing books? What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I can also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. Oh, if you can geez. find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. <laughs> okay, so you make blank books. What's the point of that? Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. <laughs> Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Oh, okay. But those books are our last legacy of the time before! You can't destroy them! Citizen, that sounds dangerously seditious. If my <laughs> reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. Okay. 
Blank books, huh? Yeah, I think I can find a use for those. Now you're thinking like a citizen, citizen. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, nothing else we can talk about? Okay. Huh. Oh, was there like an extra option here? What? Let's see. No, okay. Let's see, what was the point of that? Let's go back to where I can... Yeah, more questions. Questions are dangerously close to independent thought, citizen. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That's everything, huh? Stay loyal, citizen. All right. Huh. So we can bring books to this thing. Like, does it have to... Be... What kind of books do we need to bring? Don't we have a few? No, I don't think we do, do we? Yeah, because we never picked any up. All right, let's Greetings, see. citizen. Uh, yeah, all right. Stay loyal, citizen. I wonder if it has to be, like, the uh, pre-war books or if it can be burnt ones, too. I don't know. Let's see. So, have we got everything? I think that's everything. Let's see. It also... It, it, blah, it also removed... Yeah, look. Just like the other one before it, the jukebox, it straight up removed the item from our inventory. All right. Good way to keep track of it is to just remember to look for sync project things listed under miscellaneous, huh? Oh, look, we can also check out the, uh, what we need to create these books, can't we? Let's see. Huh, where would it be? It was under just, oh, yeah, look, skill book, medicine. Recipe, skill book, medicine, yeah, wonder glue, blank book. Oh, my God, you need 25 of them. Holy shit. But look, you can actually just make these fucking skill books. Man. Holy shit. Wow. Even less reason for you to uh, invest in intelligence, apparently. Good lord. Okay, well, when next we come back... Jeez, maybe I'll go back and pick up some blank books that way we can fuck around? I don't know. Or maybe we'll do that later, because I'm a little excited to go out and uh, check out some more shit. But at the very least, we'll do some inventory management, because we have a lot of miscellaneous shit. Uh, I'll handle all that, stow it away in probably one of these things up here. The maybe whip up some more. Lies everywhere, citizen. And that means they're not just commies. They're peeping toms. I know, I've seen a lot of their cameras around. They've been spying on people, doing paparazzi work. I've seen it. Book shoot, I've fucking seen it. Anyway, we're gonna do all that shit, and we're gonna head out and do some more stuff. We're gonna give this dude his bowl before we head out, I guess. That's probably a good-ass idea, huh? Alright, till next time, peace! Peace!